Alright, so we're just gonna start off with the regular Looney Tunes. It was pretty good, and I know to a lot of people this is like OG, probably A, maybe even S tier. But as someone who's grown up with all of these perfect bangers, when this came on, compared to those taking these guys' screen time place, Looney Tunes, I would probably give just a B. Alright, now this is probably gonna be the hottest take, and I promise this isn't a lot of hot takes, so don't leave the video. But in my opinion, the Looney Tunes show is still B tier, but I actually like it better than the OG Looney Tunes. I don't know why, I mean, they kind of did Lola Bunny kind of like weird, but I personally like it more. I think Daffy is hilarious in this. All right, Tom and Jerry. This was a huge childhood show. Whether it be the very old Tom and Jerry, whether it be the new Tom and Jerry, I think that this Tom and Jerry right here is fire. And I want to give it A tier, but I just don't think it's there but it's definitely high b i'm gonna have these in order by the way so if it's all the way to the left that means it's the best on that said tier if it's to the right that means it's that placement code lyoko i really need to get back into watching this but i'm so afraid that it's not gonna be as good as i remember because childhood me would rate this e maybe even a tier but like adult me i kind of factually know that uh it's probably see but the intro to this is just so fire i, I might have to give it like I, I don't know i don't know i'm gonna be realistic about it and i'm just gonna give it c tier the fight scenes in this were actually pretty good as a child but i think now everything just looks like it was made kind of terribly by like a fresh out of college student trying to get cheap money for animation but you gotta give it its prop. Mad TV is basically just like child version of Robot Chicken. I wouldn't even say child. This would give you some nightmares. Whenever it came on, I mainly looked forward to like Spy versus Spy. But besides that, Mad, the rest of it was just kind of weird. I don't know if it's bad enough to like deserve D tier, but it's kind of like it doesn't deserve to be with Code Lyoko at all. So D tier it is. My gym partner's a monkey is another one one i really should get back into because i'm only remembering it as a child but as i remember it right now i'm probably gonna give it c tier probably better than code Lego because that shit used to actually be on quite a bit and i used to like my gym partners a monkey one of my favorite episodes is the one where like all the animals find out about human food and they go crazy for it they all got the munchies what's new scooby-doo all right so we got the three scooby-doo's on this list scooby-doo where are you fire this used to be straight heat on boomerang and when it was on cartoon network also just straight fire i don't know if this should be b or a though this this was a banger show like obviously what's new scooby-doo is just straight probably Ooh, that's a tough one do s or a all right here this is what i'll do scooby-doo where are you we'll get a b tier and what's new scooby-doo we'll get straight s that is what i think and scooby-doo where are you will be on the top of the b leaderboard right now for now because there were some fire episodes in this but they weren't as fire as this this was like pure heat all right now i'm pretty sure this is the yogi bear i watched there was like another version but i don't think that was the one i watched and remembering the one i used to watch a lot on boomerang it was pretty good but i don't think it's anywhere up here on b and it's probably c because it was some good pastime and it was like some some fun adventures with my man yogi but he's probably c above code lyoko i am weasel straight fire on boomerang i have to give this like like right here i am weasel is straight heat or at least it used to be those who've watched this you guys are real ones this is some like hype snorks now this is some granny betty boop steamboat willy shit snorks i remember just enough to get on this tier list i don't blame y'all if y'all don't know what this is uh i mean it was okay when it came on probably just mid d tier uh I, it's like really forgettable and it obviously didn't do too well it kind of reminds me of like sea monkeys if you mixed it with bubble guppies almost naked animals was a weird show but it had its moments and when it did air it's not like you skipped it unless there was like spongebob on nickelodeon then you would hella skip it but usually if this was 
was on and nothing else was, you'd be like, you know what? Whatever. Let's watch almost naked animals. Probably a C tier. I'd just give it that. I'd put it behind Yogi. Clarence. All right. So I watched a lot of Clarence in uh, Juvie, mainly because a staff member used to bring it in a lot. And they had like all the seasons and watching it like from start to finish, watching my boy Clarence grow. Pause. It was a pretty good show. I really liked the episode where he became like hella emo. I thought that was hilarious. Still though, it's probably C tier. I'm, I am going to put it in front of Almost Naked Animals. I do believe it's better than that. All right, class of 3000. This show was too fire. The intro to this song is one of the best intros you will probably ever hear. Class of 3000. Yeah, yeah, what what y'all know about that? Fire. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to give it A tier because this is also a show they would show us in music class. And that's where I really got my knowledge from it from. And it's pretty good. I would recommend. George of the Jungle. I would skip this every single time. I think there was like maybe twice where I watched it because like Nickelodeon was showing Mr. Meaty. And then Disney was showing some bullshit like Austin and Allie. And I was like, hell no, nah, give me my boy George. And I didn't like George. I was like, never mind, take him back. I'm going to do something else IRL. D tier. Nah, hold on, hold on. He might be the first F because this was a stinky show. You know what? Yeah, he can stay down there. Huckleberry Hound. It's mid. Just pretty, pretty okay. Pretty okay. It's Huckleberry Hound. You can't go wrong. Very old show. Crypto Dog. This was fire. He had a cat sidekick. I remember when this came on, it was very rare. And when it did, it was a gem. All right. You know what? I'm tired of seeing this. Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry, get your ass up into A tier. You deserve it. I lied. You definitely deserve A tier. Crypto Dog, I think think you are perfect top b tier material because tom and jerry had some childhood with me so did scooby-doo I, I gotta i'm doing them dirty by putting them in b tier they gotta get a i think this is the old flintstones and even if it's not i'm gonna pretend this is the old flintstone now assuming it is the old flintstones i liked it better than the jetsons and i know that might be a rare take but that's just me i personally liked it more so i would give the flintstone behind my gym partners a monkey and i would give the jetson probably behind clarence not too far though not too far samurai jack if you ignore the ending pure heat s tier every day from the beginning and if you just ignore the end you know everything but the last season ending you're so fire on it it is so good samurai jack cannot be trifled with it is so good scaredy squirrel or scared squirrel or whatever i uh i kind of watched this just because it was like here and there on boomerang and it was pretty okay to watch i probably just put it in front of almost naked animals I feel like it was a little bit better it was a quirky show actually i lied i think almost naked and animals have a little bit of an edge baby looney too it actually wasn't that bad and it did have like i think a drunk scene which was hilarious either this one or the other looney tunes but either way that's the one i watched and remembering that i have to give it a solid c tier right behind the jetsons baby looney tunes was not bad at all top cat this was also a boomerang banger i can't remember too much except him trying to get like some money and stuff but besides that i would say it's pretty good in front of huckleberry hound steven universe i need to watch a lot more of this and i should probably watch it in order because i've just seen here and there of episodes and from what i've seen it is pretty good so i am as a personal you know thing gonna give it b tier but i'm sure if i watched it which i probably will do i'm sure it's a or s but for right now it's gonna go behind i am weasel pink panther the intro is fire the show is pretty fire even if it's the silent one i put it in front of top cat i lied i've never seen it. popeye you cannot go wrong this has to be b tier at least because i i like this more than looney tunes 
Popeyes was pretty good some episodes. I like the episode where it was like animals stealing from his garden. That was hilarious. So here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna make a C plus tier, okay? And in C plus, I would probably, yeah, cause some of these don't make sense. Cause I like some of these more than the ones behind it. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, so I'm doing some minor adjustment. All right, yeah, there we go. There we go, the new tier list. All right, the OG Powerpuff Girls A tier has to be almost S. It might be S, actually, because they had a lot. They had Mojo Jojo. They had the Lobster Bitch. They had, like, the male Powerpuff Girls, and that episode was pure heat. And we can't forget the assistant of the mayor. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm going to do it. S tier. I, I, I'm going to give it S tier. That show is unmatched, and it's honestly really good, no matter how you look at it. The Smurfs. I know a lot of people love and go crazy for this show, but whenever I watched it, it was like, oh, okay, I just watched the Smurfs, and I'm supposed to learn, like, some kind of moral lesson every time, and it, it's it's whatever. It's pretty, it's, it, it's, a, it's okay. It's C tier. The OG Ben 10 A tier, just because I need to watch more of it. I feel like if I watched more of it, I would probably get S tier or might even get like A plus in my book. I'm gonna put it probably at the top for right now. S tier, now I gotta watch more of it. The theme song is a banger though. Totally Spies, if y'all haven't watched this, I recommend it. It's actually pretty funny. Or at least it was as a child. And on Cartoon Network, they used to have this Totally Spies game on their website and it was pretty fire. I mean, it was laggy and it was like not very well made but it was a free game online it was cool i would probably give it c plus uncle grandpa f tier i would rather watch george of the jungle than uncle grandpa this is pure doo-doo strain if this was a weed strain this would be no percent thc two percent cbd this shit is ass here let me uh take a look at this ew first off and i don't even have the volume up <laughs> I couldn't get myself wasted enough to enjoy that. Adventure Time S tier. I'm not even messing around with that show. That is just pure S tier. If you rank Adventure Time anywhere else but S, you're 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 uh, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. I love. This was a childhood show, and for personal reasons, I gotta give it A tier. Probably better than the all of them. It's the top of A tier right now. I'm sorry. Flatjack is just too goaded. It's not mid. Here, let me show you one of my favorites. This, this is a scene from uh, The Marvelous Misadventures of Flatjack. Uh, li listen to this. Listen to this. So I uh, have a funny story to tell you. Why don't you make it 10 stories and then jump? <laughs> That is just too fire. I love cartoons that aren't like afraid to make jokes like that or whatever. I can appreciate the simple things in life. Betty Boop, I didn't really watch enough of this to get like a full understanding or lore of even the characters except her. But I mean, it looked nice. It was C tier. I'm sure it holds a lot of place in many people's hearts. So I'm just going to throw it in C. Probably going to stay at the bottom. It is what it is. She is an icon and an OG. Camp Laszlo, another childhood show, straight B tier. I'm gonna put it right here. Camp Laszlo was fire. The episode where they're trying to trade for an ice cream sandwich still holds to me. Chip and Dip are some of my favorite characters. Cow and Chicken, also a fire cartoon. I am definitely gonna put it at least in B tier because this is a heat. Straight heat. It's probably, probably behind Camp Laszlo. And the devil on this show was Thick. Dexter's Lab, obviously S tier. Not to mention they had like the off-brand Justice League, like little sideshow in it. And oh my God, it's fire. Any episode with Mandark in it, hilarious. The episode where Dexter gets like a French accent or something from studying too much, rizzing up the ladies, fire episode. Not to mention they had an entire episode dedicated to swearing, like literally cussing. Billy and Mandy, way too fire for 
for its own good. I know this might be a hot take, but it's gotta be A tier. Billy and Mandy is fire fire. It's probably gonna be in front of all those. Grim S tier character. Billy is so stupid, it's hilarious. And Mandy is just everyone's like inner self. The OG Teen Titans S tier to fire yeah yeah that looks about right at the top right now for now teen titans is just too heat you gotta kind of ignore the first like half of the first season but after that it picks up and it's just banger after banger after banger huge and the intro it has soul out like out of everything for some reason i don't think titans go is on here but if it was it would be f tier by the way i just say that the teen titans go movie would probably be c tier c plus but teen titans go the show ass doo doo butter regular show s tier so easily an s tier i would put it like right here even because it, it, every episode i just got done watching an episode of regular show before i came on this stream it was the episode where they were like playing basketball with like the basketball god and muscle man and high five goes and that episode you know that reminds me why it's s tier because that episode was pure fire it's called like slam dunk or something s tier ed ed and eddie s tier now now we're getting good we're getting the good shows now he ed ed and eddie has to be like right here probably right here because oh my god ed ed and eddie super good hilarious always trying to scam they were annoying it's literally just amazing double d is smart enough to know not to do it but he does it anyway because he doesn't want to seem like a punk bitch in front of the boys and i can respect that good shit love it my mom hates this show now this show my mom loves but she hates ed ed and eddie now for foster's home for imaginary friends also s tier i'm probably gonna put it in front of powerpuff girls but it definitely deserves a solid place in the s tier category fire the garfield show i think i might be one of the few rare people who actually really like this so i'm actually gonna put the garfield show like in front of class of 3000 and actually since i'm here let me move my gym partners among up here and let me move clarence right here garfield had a lot of very funny moments even if it was like the really older garfield show that was also still fire b tier herds the calorie dog s tier oh my god it's about to shoot up all the way here oh my it's fighting. I don't know which one's better. I don't know which one's better. A Courage might take it. I don't know. Teen Titans was fire, though. There's some fire Teen Titans. Muriel and Courage, best characters probably ever in cartoon history. He always wants to do the right thing, even though he looks like Beanos and he gargles bricks. Shout out Berlizzi. Codename Kids Next Door, S tier fire has to be in front of regular show. I'm sorry. It's just too heat. You cannot go wrong with this show. Everyone wanted to do shit that they could do in the show everything about it the design the dialogue the show the creativity the atmosphere everything perfect yeah this s tier fire fire johnny test a lot of people hate it and honestly i hate the later seasons when it was like nothing but like the crack sound effects every like three frames but the og johnny test like when it kind of first started solid b tier however the show as a whole i'm sorry it has to go at the top of c plus i'm sorry all right all right yeah I'll, I'll just keep it at c plus johnny bravo i know a lot of people might get mad at this show nowadays because the jokes are a little dated but i don't care get him up in s tier i'll put him at the end but he's there <laughs> trust johnny got a seat at the table riz lord fact look at this fake fan right here he gets zero bitches not even as a fly chowder i'm sorry because i know a lot of people do not like this show and season two i kind of don't like either but season one of chowder's just way too fire a tier gotta be a tier i'm sorry I'm sorry, A tier, A tier has Chowder. It just has way too many banger episodes. The characters I love. Now the second season, it just really got kind of childish. But if you ignore that, the first season, oh my God, S tier, S tier. Honestly, the reason it's an A tier is because of the second season. If it wasn't the second season, the first season of Chowder would probably rank above like 
Like, like probably here actually. We bear bears. I love we bear bears. I think it's a fire show. I would probably put it also in A tier. Behind Chowder, it deserves the C at the A tier table. Huge W of a show. And even when they're like children bear, I think that's like an adorable little segment of it. The Amazing World of Gumball, S tier. I'm sorry. You have to give respect where it's due. I'll put my boy behind Adventure Time and let me swap these two real quick. Gumball is just straight fire. There's just so many episodes where you could like just immediately watch it and get lost and watch episode after episode. All right, I guess I've been saving this for last. And since there's no call, I have to make a call. And so the call I'm going to put this in is there's a Scooby-Doo in S. There's one in A. So I'm going to put this one in B. I am going to put it right here. Matter of fact, let me move this this up some right here all right and looking at this this looks to be my official cartoon network tier list comment down if you would have done something different just keep in mind this is my opinion thank you guys so much for watching and i dare you to have a good day